Hey everyone, my name is Jack. In this video, I'm going to do a full review to compare my personal top 5 3D scanning apps from my industry's point of view. So the reason why I want to create this video is because over the past months, I've been asked by a lot of users asking what's the differences between Kiri Engine and any other 3D scanning apps out there. So I thought I could just create this video to explain every single differences between the top 3D scanning apps and ultimately for you to pick the right one for your project. First of all, let's talk about the technologies behind these five apps. There are three major technologies that can achieve 3D scanning on a smartphone. There's photogrammetry, NERF, and LiDAR. And the five apps we talked about don't always share the same technologies. So Kiri Engine uses photogrammetry and NERF. Polycam uses photogrammetry and LiDAR. Reality Scan uses only photogrammetry and Luma uses only NERF and the last, Scaniverse, uses only LiDAR. Because these five apps don't share the same tech, they're gonna have their own advantages and disadvantages. So today, we're gonna test out the differences between the five and let you know which one performs better for your need. First up, let's try photogrammetry. Photogrammetry is a kind of technology that uses the features points on an object surface as a reference to construct 3D point clouds and in turn to construct a 3D model of an object. If you want to know more about the photogrammetry and features points, we made this video to tell you all you need to know about them. So for photogrammetry, we have Kiri Engine, Polycam, and Reality Scan. And we're gonna scan this with the three apps because this object has enough features points for the photogrammetry to do its job. In this video, I made sure that I took a similar amount of photos and also made sure the way I took photos was identical as possible for all three apps. And then I uploaded the photos to their servers and waited for several minutes. And these are the 3D models that were generated with the three apps. From a glance, they all look pretty good, right? But they actually have quite some differences. Take a look at this chart. It shows some of my most cared things about the software and how well each app accomplished it. So Kiri Engine and Polycam can capture the bottom of the 3D model using object masking features, but Reality Scan cannot. And both Kiri Engine and Polycam can export PBR materials, only that Kiri Engine can export one extra map. Among those three apps, only Kiri Engine can export 3D models as we topologized Quad Mesh. It's a really handy tool if you want to work on your 3D scans in other software. Talking about face numbers, Kiri Engine and Reality Scan can generate about 8 to 10 times more face counts than Polycam. So if you like photogrammetry and care about the details of the 3D model, I would recommend Kiri Engine and Reality Scan. Okay, what's NERF? NERF is the latest 3D scanning technique. It introduces neural networks into the process to improve usability. Comparing it with photogrammetry, one of the coolest things is that NERF can even 3D scan objects that do not have enough features points, even shiny objects. Again, check out this video if you want to know more about the differences between photogrammetry and NERF. Despite NERF's ability to scan featureless objects, it has some drawbacks. For example, remember how photogrammetry in Kiri Engine and Polycam can do object masking to flip and rotate the object to capture the bottom of the 3D model? But for NERF, we can't do that. The only working way to use NERF is to walk around an object and take photos or videos, not the other way around. Meaning that you won't be able to use a turntable for NERF shooting. And NERF requires a significantly more amount of computing power to process the 3D scan. So meaning it will take longer than photogrammetry to process the 3D model and eventually will be more costlier than photogrammetry. And for the NERF test, we have Kiri Engine and Luma. And we prepared this for the test. I know that I said NERF can scan shiny objects, but even for NERF, this will be challenging. The color is very simple, and more importantly, the surface is too shiny. So it will be a nightmare for photogrammetry for sure. 
but let's see how well these two apps can do with Nerf. Now we can see the models generated by these two apps. Can you guess which app generated which model? Well, oh no, we both use Nerf technology. The difference is quite obvious. It's because Curie Engine not only uses traditional Nerf, it uses a technology called Neural Surface Reconstruction. It's been optimized and as a result, it will have high quality models. But hey, if you're wondering how nightmare the photogrammetry is to scan this object, here you go. Total nightmare. Okay, now we have the last tech to test. It's a LiDAR. So what is the LiDAR technology? Specifically, this technology uses invisible laser beams to scan the surrounding environment and to create 3D models by measuring the reflected light. The cool thing about LiDAR is that you can get real-time feedback in 3D scanning. You can see the results right on your phone without waiting for the upload. However, one thing to note is that LiDAR is only available to the iPhone Pro models that have the LiDAR hardware. So among these five apps, Polycam and Scanniverse have LiDAR capabilities. So let's go ahead and test out these two apps to see how well they scan the two models. Polycam is famously known for its LiDAR. You don't need to upload data to the cloud and the processing time is much faster compared to its photogrammetry. On the other hand, Scanniverse is actually cool as well because it uses LiDAR on iPhone Pro models, but it uses another technology called Structure from Motion for other iPhones that don't have LiDAR. It can achieve a less impressed results, but it's pretty cool as well. With LiDAR, you can select the range and specify how far you want the LiDAR to scan. As you can see, when capturing objects with many features, the results look quite good in both apps. However, if the object has a simple structure in shiny surface, you can see it already loses tracking of the object. What? <laughs> so, I mean, if you have a LiDAR equipped iPhone, LiDAR can also be good if the object has enough features points like photogrammetry, but it will have far less face counts than photogrammetry. And just like photogrammetry, LiDAR won't perform well if the object has shiny and reflective surfaces. All right, all the tests are done. Let's talk about my experience with each application. And let's start with Kiri Engine. Kiri Engine is the only app that has photogrammetry and Nerf. This combination is the best because it allows one to capture both complex and simple objects really well. And more importantly, it has no hardware limitations like LiDAR. However, when it comes to ease of use, Scanniverse is pretty good as well if you are an iOS user. It can process 3D scans locally on your iPhone, but the drawbacks are that 1. You will get much fewer face counts, and 2. You won't be able to flip and rotate the object to scan for the object's bottom like photogrammetry with object masking. Reality scan is fancy, with the UI displaying red, blue, and green point cloud, and its ability to upload photos during scanning to save upload times and others. However, being solely a photogrammetry application limits it to certain tasks, making it impossible to handle simple objects that we tested on the Nerf. And being a photogrammetry app, it doesn't have object masking making it less good compared with other two photogrammetry apps. Moving on, Luma is also excellent at scanning both complex and simple objects because of the Nerf capabilities. However, it lacks the ability to capture the bottom of 3D models and plus it's only available for the iPhone. And in terms of the Nerf technology alone, Kiri Engine would be a better choice because of its superior mesh quality and its availability on both iOS and Android. So, this is my opinion on the top 5 3D scanning apps. And if you found this helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. And see you in the next episode.